Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today, we're taking a look at a beautiful add-on known as Grid Modeler. This add-on is made available by Kushiro and it's more like a bullying, slicing sort of thing that you can use for making hard surface models directly in Blender. Now, for those who want to get this and you want to play with it, you want to see what features this comes with, you can simply go over to the link in the description that will take you over to Gumroad where you can see this. This is a pretty cool one and today, we are definitely going to take a look at this. So, with Blender simply open, how you can get started is by simply going over to edit then go over to preference and install the add-on now if you press n on your keyboard you would notice that you don't get to find any of these things here the reason is because this add-on is you know a mesh editing add-on and that's why you can find it there so for you to be able to access this and work with it you need to select the object which you want to work with press tab on your keyboard go over to the edit mode click right here where you get to find the faces select a particular face right click and then click on the grid modeler now if you click on the grid modeler you would notice that you have a couple of grids so regardless of the subdivision level of the model that you're working on this is definitely going to give you some grids now how you can work with this grid is very interesting because all you need to do is hold on control on your keyboard and roll your middle mouse button now if you roll your middle mouse button you get a lot more grid which will give you more opportunities to add those tiny details or you can roll your middle mouse button backwards and it's going to give you bigger and thicker grids which you can also work with meanwhile if you want to increase the grid size maybe you want something a little bit above this particular object you can hold on alt on your keyboard and roll your middle mouse and this would give you something even way cleaner now for those who like to create let's say additional faces you want to create some additional models around this is going to come in very handy for you guys so let's actually drop this one down and take a look at something that you guys might have noticed on the side and that has to do with a couple of menus that we have here so contrary to other modeling tools that you get to find or you download or you purchase that you also notice that has you know a feature like this those ones do have uis that kind of obscure your view but this one is just right here and it just makes sense because you don't even need to go outside the app to look for help as you can simply just press h on the keyboard and you can see the help file right here so just in case you're looking for ways to work with this tool this help file is going to come in handy press h on the keyboard to bounce all the way back and for sure this tool is made for hard surface modelers so this means that a lot of boolean features and also a lot of beveling and creating new faces things is baked right into this so if you would like to make some boolean how you can make that is uh, very simple so let's just get this grid about a point like that and then we can click right here click over here let's get one Let's actually get this one here and click on this button right there and how you can get your boolean is by pressing you know q on the keyboard and right now you have a very clean boolean now once you do that or you do any of the operations that has to do with editing the mesh you notice that we have the grid modeler menu so with the grid modeler menu you can click right here and you can increase the depth so like so and we can actually push this depth all the way out and that can cut the model for you so if you're looking for something like this this is going to be very useful you can also choose to play with the boundary offset so in case you want to increase the boundary offset you can do that so let's actually increase that and you can do that as well of course you can get that tiny boolean cut right there so i can set this to one press the enter key and have that and you have a couple of other options that has to do with you know either you want to create edge pipes so for those who want to make like edge pipes this is going to be very useful if you want to split or you want to create brand new face or you want to create triangles or maybe you just want to simply make a boolean slice you can click on this button and that will make you a boolean slice and of course just like the boolean cut you can also choose to increase the depth of the boolean slice and also increase the offset so let's say you want to get something like so you can do that and once that's done click on the object press ctrl l to select everything and that way you can now press g on the keyboard to move this one out so pretty cool stuff and i seem to like it so for this let's actually press s to scale this one up a little bit and take a look at what we have and we can actually go in and do some more stuff so maybe you would like to also create some sets and you know you might want to also make arrays of stuff you can also do that click on the grid modifier and we can go in here let's actually start off so in case you want to start off from a point we can start off like so click right here make sure that we have this one happening and then if you want to access more menus if you right click you can notice that we have a couple more menus right here so let's say i would like to make a bevel and i would like to make some array for this i need to select the object and if i tap g on the keyboard i can move this to any part that i want let's say part like so and if i would like to make bevels i can simply press b on the keyboard 
and bevel this and once you start rolling your middle mouse button you can add some segments to that bevel and we can go with something like so and for this i might also want to have a couple of array and i can simply tap d on the keyboard move this to a point and roll the middle mouse button as well and that can give you a couple more array so once you do that you can right click and go all the way back and at this point you can also do some more stuff so let's say you want to create a face at this point all you need to do is tap three on the keyboard and you have yourself that face and you can tap e on the keyboard to extrude this and maybe you can tap i on the keyboard to insert and maybe tap e one more time to move this one backwards so this way it's going to be easier for you to create some stuff and also work with them now you might also be wondering what if for some reason you're working on the surface so let's use this one as an example what if you're working on the surface and you want to change the orientation of the plane so for that if you right click go over to the grid modifier and you notice that maybe you want to draw from this angle all right you don't want to draw from this angle you know this is cool but you want to draw from this particular angle so how you can do that is by simply holding down control click on the left mouse button and this is going to change the angle for you if you press your spacebar at any point in time it's going to stop the drawing so once you press your spacebar you can have that drawing stopped and for those who don't like snapping if you tap u on the keyboard you can notice it says snapping disabled it simply means that at this point you can go in and draw however you want and if you tap u one more time the snapping comes back on so with this we can actually go in here and we can start doing some very nice stuff so let's say i would like to have some edge pipes and for this edge pipes i'm going to press 9 on the keyboard and of course you can notice that we have those edge pipes running through and maybe you would like to play you know with how you want these edge pipes to look maybe you want to increase reduce the bevel you know get some more bevel in there and maybe you want to play with the pipe thickness maybe you want to drop this one down about a point like so all right you can also choose to get that and you can also do some very you know lovely stuff with this meanwhile for those who would like to create custom shapes you can actually create your own custom shape so what we're going to do is select right click go over to the grid modeler and if you tap c on your keyboard you can click and add you know a circle now for those who would like to change the segment size if you hold down shift you can roll your middle mouse button and this way you can change the segment and this is going to be very handy for those who would like to create some custom shapes as we're going to take a look at how you can do that so let's add that circle right here and then click to you know commit that and we're also going to go over here and do the same thing but for this one i think it's best to add you know let's go in and add a cube so we're just going to go ahead and run this one down and get a simple cube so with this cube right here we can right click and jump over to the editing mode now within the editing mode if we tap g on the keyboard we can move this to any location that we want so i'm just going to move this one right over to a point like that and then we can tap e so if you tap e on your keyboard you notice you have some nodes press g on the keyboard to move this to any point that you want and if you like to bevel these parts you can also choose to bevel them so just tap b on the keyboard and you can bevel this if you want to add some segments you can add some segments by rolling your middle mouse button but if you don't want you can just simply leave it the way it is and once you're done all right let's say this is the masterpiece you're creating okay so once you're done you can press e and jump all the way out if you like to resize any of them you can tap s on the keyboard and of course you can see some of these and if you like to also mirror some of these things you can also do that now for those who are also looking at ways that they can make some mirroring stuff you want to mirror some stuff some cool things that you're working on you can of course make those mirrors so what we're going to do now is just simply go like here maybe add something like uh let's add one here add something like there click right over to a point like this let's just say we want to add something about this much okay so this is uh this is what we want to do we want to make a couple of them and maybe have them mirrored all the way down so for this one we're also going to go ahead right click select the object okay press d on your keyboard move this one all the way down and then you can select this same object and press n on your keyboard and this is going to mirror it to that point but if you press m on your keyboard and you know go all the way back by pressing n it's going to mirror it towards this point so we're going to tap g on the keyboard right now move this one to a position like so and then tap d on the keyboard move this over to a point like that select these two and then press n on the keyboard and at this point we can literally just select them both and tap d on the keyboard and make another copy right over there so in this way we've actually started making this stuff so once you right click and then maybe you want to add some bevel or you want to add some extra faces you can easily go in there and do these things so regardless of how you get started 
you can of course change this at any point in time some of you guys might want to add some edge pipes of course this might not look so good at this point but you can play with this to get some good result out of it and if you would like to make some boolean cuts of course you can set this to boolean cuts and this simply means that you can select any of these individual points and you can you can start working with it now you can tap ctrl l on the keyboard which would select all of the boolean cuts and you can notice that we have these extra ones which you can replicate to some other parts and this is a very cool tool of course there are tons of things that you can do with this we're just actually scratching the surface of things that you can do with this tool and for those who would like to see this you want to see more of the stuff that you can do with this you can simply go over to the link in the description that will take you over to gumroad where you can see you know cool stuff that you can actually create with this and i love the fact that you can easily create angular curves and you can also create some good pipes with this one and contrary to some of the other tools which you just don't have this quick snap into plane and you can also change the orientation and for those looking for documentation there is actually a well detailed documentation that you can go through and take a look at and of course if you want to get this link to this is going to be in the description and for those that will be looking for some other cool add-ons link is going to be in the description as well and for those who want to join you know the discord link for that is also going to be in the description so you can do well to take a look at that tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and if i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks Things like this. Peace.